This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Macleans Gym Marbella. I'm at Pond's Ford Sheffield today on the Nick Hennessy car put on by Channel 5. With me, I've got undefeated Callum Hancock. What's happening, Cal? Not much, mate. Just got another win on my belt. How are you doing? All good. All good. First and foremost, congratulations on a very accomplished and disciplined performance. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Talk me through it a little bit. Well, the kid were, the kid were a tough guy. He's never been stopped. Young like myself. Won three, lost three. Got a couple of knockouts to his name. So, he will, he will come in to win, won't he? He's, he don't, nobody wants to lose and he did, he put it on me for the first, for first and second round, he seriously put it on me, coming in, landing some big shots, just had to stay my best, stay composed and just pick him off. Right part of the right time for yourself, nice to get them rounds under your belt at this yeah. stage in your career. Yeah, that's invaluable experience isn't it, it's not about early on in your career knocking people out, you, you really do want to learn your trade, I'm a working lad in a working man's sport and I'm all for learning. And with these little tests, it's just going to better myself in the long run. What was Dominic Ingalls' words in between rounds? I saw him taking a little bit of time to keep you composed yeah. and talk to you a little bit. Yeah. What was he Don, saying? Don was telling me in between rounds to so just jab, slip to the left, left up to the body, left up to the head. Jab when he's coming in, just pad his arm down, slip to the right, right up, counter. His body was wide open. Today, it was trial and error for me today. I didn't really listen to my corner 110% like I should have. And there were a lot of things that I can pick up on, but onwards and upwards from here. How much of your training camp and things you do in training did you implement in, in your fight tonight? There's a, everything really, there's, in, in boxing there's, there's no playing at boxing, when you get, you can play football, you can play tennis, you can't play boxing, so I will try my best to put everything in place but it's a fight, when you're getting pushed, punched in face yourself, a lot of time these game plans go out the window mm -hmm. and the kid was young, he knew what the game was and it did really come to win, so I liked that little test but I did, I did win comfortably, I won every round and in third and fourth round I just, I just put it on him and it was nowhere to be seen like, but he did hang on, he heard the final bell. And I'm glad. I'm glad he gave me another four valuable rounds. Mm -hmm. Six and zero now. Yeah, six and zero. Can't be away from getting a shot of some kind of title. No, I just I'm just going to keep doing what my team are telling me to do. Whoever they put in front of me, I'm I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be on it. And then near on in future, these titles will be coming. Mm -hmm. Someone said to me with the Ingle Gym, if you stick to the program, you don't cheat. You do as you're told. You'll get somewhere in this game, you know. Yeah, you will definitely. Ingle Gym, mate. They're, they're second to none. Their talent. Unbelievable, you know, their brainwaves in, in that gym, they're just 110% on it, they live and breathe it. You've got Brendan who lives across the road from the gym, Dom, John lives through a general, they're there 24-7, it's full time for them. And that's what us athletes do. Unfortunately though, you can only leave the horse to water, can't you? And it's, right. it it's really is down point. to ourselves. Is when we, if we were to lose in that ring, we can't blame Ingles because they are on it all the time. So it is down to myself and... It is a big, big risk, but I've got broad shoulders and I'm all for learning in this game and I want to better myself and I'm going to stick with Ingles 110%. So I do really believe in that team. When can we anticipate seeing you out in action again, Cal? Anything we, we, in the next, we in the next few months. I'll definitely be out before Christmas again. The sooner the better for me. I'm going to, I'm going to go back, back into the gym on Monday. I've, I've hurt my right hand bad in that fight. I'm just going to relax my hand and then go from there, move on. Listen, congratulations on a fantastic yeah, thank victory you. for yourself. Thank Very you. composed tonight. And can I just say one more thing, mate? Of course you can, mate. Regards Jerome Wilson, I just want himself and his family and everyone to know that boxers throughout Sheffield and nationwide, we are all thinking of him. And when, some one sec. when something as drastic as this happens, even though we all fight against one another, we really do need to stick together. At the end of the day, it's just a sport, it's a job. And Everyone who's got a license, whether it's a, a trainer, an official, a fighter, whatever you are, if there's an involvement in boxing, I believe the British Boxing Board of Control could put a little kitty together so when something as drastic as this happens, all of us just chuck in a couple of quid mm. and it goes, to, it goes to a needed family like, unfortunately, but Jerome Wilson in this time. Because it's very, very rare that these things do happen. We've got referees and we've got cornermen and these stop these things from happening. But unfortunately, it's a dangerous sport and we do need to be aware of this. And I think if we put something in place now, sooner than later, these families what are going to be getting this sort of thing in the future. We don't have to worry financially. And we, we can all be there, we can all unite and work together as a team. Fantastic well put, Carl. Everyone's earning a living off the back of boxing, so yeah. don't think it would hurt for, As you say, for someone to collect some money on behalf of the board every show just to cover these things for Jerome yeah. 
rubber boxes in the exactly. future, you know? You, you can't even go out and get a Big Mac for that, do you know what I mean? Mm. Two quid. It's it's nothing, but you imagine that, like you said, there's, there's been three shows this weekend just in Sheffield. We had two shows last week and one show this weekend. We all boxed and everything, just a few quid each. That'd be 15 grand. You imagine that, like nationwide, just yeah. a quid a piece. But the more shows on tonight, just in the UK, in London, and exactly. surrounding areas. What's a quid out of your pocket? Yeah. You know what I mean? But Valid point, mate. all these people adding these quids in, every little helps. And I do really believe if we all put a kitty together and stand with each other, I don't know, I could, next time I could get a ring, it could happen to me. And I'd hate to think what situation would be like. But I really am thinking of all at Coldwell Boxing, all Mr. Wilson's family, and I hope he has a speedy and healthy recovery. Top man, Carl. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for giving me some of your time today, mate. Cheers, mate. Take care.